How you doing? It's Danny K. Right back again with another video. He has to make good content every day for the alpha person. Who's trying to be the best version of themselves, more manly version of themselves. And today I want to talk about standing your ground. I believe as a man, no matter what skin color, creed, you got to stand your ground. Even though it might not be popular or it may just be looked down upon. You know, I was just saying um, today, it's, um, the founder of Serena Williams, Serena Williams' husband said he's stepping down for a black person to take his place. That is nice, don't get me wrong, but me personally, I don't want to, you know, somebody feel sympathy of me, for me, because of my color. I don't want nobody to feel sorry, you know. I don't like to feel that I don't got my own, to be honest with you. Or I can't stand up for myself, you know? I don't want my feet washed by anybody. I don't want sorries or this and that. All that is nothing. You So people can say sorry, wash feet. And I believe you're, and listen to me, if you're a white man, you're watching this, you shouldn't be washing nobody's feet. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. If you're out there, scrub a dub dub, what you doing, man? Don't get me wrong, there is, you know, things like that in this world, but stand your ground. Because, you know, be proud of what you are. White, black, be proud of what you are. White, black, Hispanic, be proud of it. You know, because that's you. That's you. You can't change. I can't change this. You can't change this. This stays for forever till we die. Unless you want to discolor it, put different... This is going to stay with us till we die. You know? Love yourself. Respect yourself. You know, stay grounded in something. Because nobody's going to be out there to, you know, even it's like, oh, the letters are free, all this and that. No, it's just patronizing. I don't want patronizing, you know? That's not going to change anything. No matter how many feet people's feet you wash, no matter how many, you know, they say, oh, God, cops. And I agree with that. Sometimes there is prejudice and all that. But that's really not going to change something, nothing, you know? People are just going to be more covert. What you can do is just be more manly, be more masculine to control your um control what you have around you. If you're in a nicer area, you dress in nice, presentable, the chances that happen to you are slim. Could it still happen? Yeah, but it's slim. We have money to have a good lawyer, this and that. People are gonna be very, very careful of pressing you. You know? As a man, you should try your best to get everything in your cards right. You know? Focus on being a better man. To stay grounded. For the black men out there, work on yourself. Work on yourself every day. You know? You might need to work yourself 10 times hard, but work on yourself every day. You know? And, you know, all the minorities out there work every day. And if you're a white person, don't feel, you know, they say white privilege. I'm not going to talk on that. You know, I'm not white, so I'm not going to talk about circumstances like that. But, uh, be happy that you're right. Don't go out here and wash people's feet, man. It's messed up. But even if I was a modern-day slave owner, I'm washing nobody's feet. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's messed up. I'm like, nah, I ain't washing nobody's feet. I could be sorry for something. I'm not washing nobody's feet. It's easier to wash somebody's feet, but it's like, what's the reason? What's the logical reasoning behind it? I don't see any logical reason behind it. That's not going to change anything. That's not going to do nothing. Don't wash nobody's feet. What you do is have a black friend, you know? And you don't have to do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. It's your life. <laughs> it's your life, you know? It's your life. And that's what being grounded is your life. And, I'm t and I, I'll come to a realization of this, talking to older people. They're like, yo, it's your life. This you only have one life. You're going to die one day. You're going to die one day. What people say, don't do this, don't do that. You're not going to regret it. Me, I'm going to go, I haven't regret anything that I did so far in the past. Like that, they said, people told me, don't do it. I still did. I never really, really had regrets over it, you know? If I feel like I could do it and I want to do it, I'm going to do it. Like It's messed up, but I'm going to do it. And no matter what you say, you ain't going to stop me. I'm going to be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, I see where you come from. And do whatever I want to do at the end of the day, you know? So on both sides, man, I kind of diverged back to like a race topic, but 
one of my best friends when I was younger was a white man, a white guy. And, he, you know, we were kids. I didn't see him as like, oh, this is a white guy, you know? Is there prejudice out there? I'm not saying there isn't at all. By any means, I'm not saying that. But I'm speaking right now, I'm speaking on things that you can change. I can't change how another person views me. You can't change how another person views you. Is a bad person? Oh, he might be stealing, he might be robbing. As a white person, oh, you're racist, this and that. You can't change that. Don't worry about things you can't change. If you know you're not, don't uh, screw what everybody else thinks. Screw about what everybody else thinks. You know? It also depends. If you're in a position where you have a million dollar company and you say something, you have to be very careful because that's, that's going to really, people are going to care about what you think. But on a standard, you know, just keep everything to yourself and screw everybody else. You know? Because when it comes to the deathbed, they're not going to hop in with you. They're not. This is your life and live it the way you want to live it. And live it after being the best version of yourself, the best man of yourself, the best or most alpha version of yourself. That's supposed to be your goal, to be more grounded. Because the only person who really has your back very good is you. Danny K out.